Hey guys, it's me Tim. Finally getting around to doing uh, the second shout out video. I have been very, very busy. I'm so sorry. Um, I wanted to do even more in this one, but uh, I feel like I've cut it short too. So what I will do guys is I have other projects waiting for myself to do as well. I'm probably going to do these as I can. Um, none of these channels are in order of importance guys they're all great channels but i want you to enjoy them but enough about that let's get on to the shout out guys okay up first we have lee ralph over at pathway to self-reliance now i've known lee for quite some time he's a good guy uh he's former marine family guy uh has his family in his videos often and i like that about lee he has videos from anything uh, like farming to farm animals, bushcraft survival, fire making, uh, structure making, you name it, he's got it on his channel. You know, but like I said more than that, he does it in such a friendly manner, it's interesting to watch. I, I really like uh, watching it. Lee, uh, um, he has this video, and it's one of my favorite videos to watch. You know, I watch it from time to time. It's very uh, thought provoking for me because. Uh, it doesn't get discussed a lot, or at least not, in my opinion, the way it should be. But it's over, you know, urban survival versus wilderness survival. It's one of my favorites of his. But anyway, I want you guys to get over and check out Lee at Pathway to Self-Reliance. Heck of a guy. You'll like him. Okay, up next we have Pete on Survival. Now, I've only known Pete for a short time, but he's got a really cool channel. Um, Pete uh, is over from in the UK, and his channel, it, it has many, many topics. Anything from water purification, fire making, uh, you know, bushcrafting, survival. Um, one of the video series that Pete did that I really like, I'd like to see other people do it, and I'd like to see him do more takes on it, is Could I Survive Here? And what Pete will do is, is he'll take a random place and he'll just sit there. Now, he's not going to do any skills. He's going to look around. Could I survive here? He's doing a, a mental exercise. And I think that people should do that. They should get out and look at a certain area and see what they think is available to them at that spot at that moment. See what resources are available. It's a great mental exercise. Um, Pete's channel, I believe, is... You know, it's only about a year old, but it's still a really good channel, and I look for more to come out of this guy's uh, channel. He's 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 doing some good things, but anyway, that's uh, Pete on survival. Go check him out. Okay, up next we have Kyle over at Makeshift Survival. Now this is uh, something different. Kyle he does have a YouTube channel. I don't believe he has any content on there or any videos just yet. But he has a blog, and I believe Kyle to be a welder by trade. Kyle does uh, um, not only welding, but I believe he teaches survival. And uh, his blog, although new, I look for it to take off and do some really good things. Um, one of the really interesting articles on Kyle's blog was over uh, iron and its hidden potential. I think you guys should get over there and check that out and read that. That was some interesting reading, you know. Uh, who knows, you know. But uh, he has articles over earthquake preparedness, uh, or not, not rather earthquake preparedness, but just earthquakes. It's, it's things that make you think. What could be? What could happen? You know? But anyway, I think you should get over and check out this guy. Uh, that's Kyle over at Makeshift Survival. Okay, up next we have Nathan. Nathan4071. Now, most people know Nathan in the bushcraft and survival community for his uh, feral rods. And while, you know, he does sell some really good ones and I hear really good things about them, that's not going to be my focus of this shout out. Um, I don't believe people really, truly appreciate this man. Nathan is very supportive of the bushcraft and survival community. Uh, it's not just his donations of these, you know, feral rods and gifts from time to time to people. It's that he literally goes around to the channels 
he come he converses with people he leaves messages he posts he posts on my videos I don't even really know the guy that much but from what I've seen of him he's a super super nice guy this is lacking a lot today Nathan seems to want to bring together this community he's he's just He's just a super cool guy. I like him all the way around. I can't help it, you know. But anyway, besides that, uh, being active heavily in the bushcraft community, um, yeah, he does have a store. Get over and check this guy out. I think you'll like him. That's Nathan. Nathan over at Nathan4071. Ah, uh, yeah. One more shout out. And this is last, but definitely not least. Look what my wife gave me for Valentine's Day. Jack Link's Jerky. In a heart-shaped box. This is just too awesome. I love you, honey. This is a great Valentine's gift. The best one I've ever had. And no, guys, you cannot have any. It's all for me. Bye-bye.